Hi, it's me, Heidi Heilig, Epic Reads current resident book wrecking author and incorrigible last minute gifter. Yes, it's true. I am always waiting for the last minute to get presents because I'm really bad at making decisions and um, that is especially true when there are thousands and thousands of options and probably only one that's perfect or so I tell myself. This year I decided to make some lists early and share them with you in case you have the same problems. So my gift to you is six great books that make amazing last minute gifts. And because we are so last minute, I also have some ideas for little tchotchkes because you might need to order the book at your local indie and if it's out of stock and it takes a while to come, you can still give the person the little gift and maybe like a handwritten note card that tells them all about the book that they're going to get when UPS arrives. <laughs> First off, because as a YA author, I seem to meet a lot of people that need a book like this, and this is a gift for your highbrow friend that thinks YA is a little silly. Bone Gap by Laura Ruby. Bone Gap is a fantastical Midwestern Gothic about a small town where the corn whispers and people sometimes disappear. It's the story of two brothers, Finn and Sean, and the girls they fall in love with, Rosa and Petey. And when Rosa disappears, Finn is the only one who can rescue her. There is beekeeping and a black mare and a mysterious stranger that walks between worlds. And when he steals Rosa away, Finn is the only one who can rescue her. This is a book about beauty and how we see ourselves and others. And it's full of clever writing and metaphor and young love and magic, basically everything that makes YA great. It also has a few shiny metals on the cover to convince that highbrow friend of yours to open it up and look deeper. That's Bone Gap by Laura Ruby. And I would pair it with one of those cute little things of fancy honey to go with the beekeeping metaphors. So, Speaking of pretty covers and looking deeper, my next book rec is Pride by E.B. Zaboy. This book ticks so many gift-giving boxes, but if you have a hipster, a Brooklynite, a Jane Austen fan, it is the perfect book for any of those people on your list. Zaboy calls Pride a Pride and Prejudice remix where the Bennets become the Benitez family and instead of Kent, they live in Bushwick, a rapidly gentrifying or perhaps already gentrified neighborhood in Brooklyn. And when the rich Darcy family, including two fine young men who are brothers, or fine young brothers, as Zaboy says, uh, move into a remodeled brownstone down the street, Zuri Benitez has to look beyond first impressions to find her place in this shifting landscape. There is truly something for everyone in this book. That's Pride by Ibi Zuboy. And if you're looking for a little side gift to include, I recommend some fancy hot sauce. Speaking of prejudice, there is a question that kind of hangs in the air around some of these book recommendation lists. You know, people are sometimes afraid to ask it around me because they know I have strong opinions, but this is gift giving season and that's about your feelings, not mine. So I'm just gonna go right out and answer it for you so you don't even have to ask. That question is, Heidi, what about the boys? I have boys on my list. They need books too. None of these books are for boys. What gives? So while I myself would say that any of these books are wonderful for all genders, I have for you today a special treat, a book that is going to appeal perhaps especially to all boys and boy adjacent folks on your list, also sports lovers, and that is Here to Stay by Sarah Farazan. This is a book about a boy, as well as a book about being shy around girls, a book about sports, a book about comics. For starters, this book is very funny. Um, it follows the antics of Bijan Mejidi, who was pulled off the bench uh, during a varsity football game to score the winning basket. I almost said score the winning goal, home run, something. It's basketball. I'm not a big sports person, but I still love this book. Suddenly, Bijan is popular. Girls love him guys are high-fiving him in the 
hallways at school. Someone, a cyber bully, is also sending around a picture that portrays him as a terrorist. Now, this touches off a whole storm in the school about finding the culprit and um, putting Bijan in the center of this response to Islamophobia when all Bijan really wants is to be a sort of normal kid, a normal sports star, but a normal guy. These really tough issues are handled with a ton of grace and even more humor, including the two sportscasters narrating things in Bijan's head. This is a book that everyone will love especially and including boys and sports lovers. That's Here to Stay by Sarah Farazan. And if you need a side gift, wrap it with a basketball for extra fun. Speaking of boys and love, my next book is for the people on your list who love rom-coms and emotional roller coasters. This is What If It's Us by Becky Albertalli and Adam Silvera. Everyone has that friend, right? That friend who's always swooning over something or someone. That one who loved Laura Jean, who believes in destiny and meet cutes at a quirky cafe or maybe a laundromat, right? This book follows Arthur, his eyes full of stars, and Ben, his arms full of his ex-boyfriend's belongings, and they meet in an adorable encounter in the post office. The way their relationship unfolds is refreshingly rocky as the universe pulls them apart and then shoves them back together saying, now kiss. This book is a perfect present for any romantic who has their head in the clouds and their boots on the ground. And if you're looking for a gift pairing, I recommend the soundtrack to Dear Evan Hansen. Arthur would love that. Speaking of boots, I know what you're thinking. Heidi, you have recommended like three books in this video and none of them are fantasy. Why have you forsaken me? I haven't. I promise. The truth is, there is so much good fantasy out this year, and a lot of my other videos have wonderful recommendations for you there. But one I haven't yet gotten to speak about that I absolutely adored is Tess of the Road by Rachel Hartman. This book is the quintessential fantasy. A girl who refuses to buckle under the oppressive medieval regime. She disguises herself as a boy and sets out on a long road seeking adventure and dragons. But these familiar tropes are reimagined through a feminist lens with compassion and depth. So you not only have a wonderful adventure, but you also have an enlightening book about feminine rage and trying to heal from the violence against women that is all too familiar in the real world. For fantasy lovers, feminists, or dragons, that's Tess of the Road by Rachel Hartman. For an extra loving touch, this book could pair well with a little cuddly friend. Speaking of violence against women, this is a tough one, but we can't ignore it because ignoring a problem doesn't make it go away. The last book I have to recommend is a bit outside my normal wheelhouse. It's a nonfiction, and the title is Unprecedented by Martha Brockenborough. This is a biography of the 45th president of the United States, and it details his origins, his business dealings, and his, his rise to power. This book is necessary and perhaps particularly helpful to younger citizens who might be eligible to vote in 2020. It also might be a book to buy for your relatives that might not agree with your normal book purchases. That's Unprecedented by Martha Brockenborough. And I have a copy here, so, you know. As for the extra gift to go with it, I recommend a picture frame so you can rest your eyes Maybe put your favorite picture in there, just a little bit, you know, something like, ah, oh, that's better. There you have it. Six book recommendations to soothe your last minute gift panic. Have you ever had to shop for a last minute gift? Let me know what you ended up getting in the comments down below. And until next time, happy reading.